what was like your strong point that will like that will uh, hold the relationship together you think i think we are both quite sincere um and uh, i think the fact that we've been together um so since before i i went to the uk um i also i was also quite sure that she was telling me the truth the whole time because you know your biggest fear when you're not there is that she's probably cheating on you since mm -hmm. she's doing stuff that you don't like but you're not there to see it and uh, you're not the other way around she's also um she might also be worried but i think we're both quite um earnest with each other and if we do stuff that the other um doesn't like um we should just tell each other because uh, you know at least i'm someone that um if i do something that i know is wrong um i can't be okay with, with you like i have to tell you or i have to you know take some some distance because i don't feel comfortable around you because you've done something to me or i've done something to you and that mm -hmm. we're not talking about um so i think you know that was also uh, that that's the, the main point that um made the relationship um you know grow even because we've grown as people i moved to uk when i was 17 so i was quite young 20 now so still quite young but, um i'm still growing as a person she is still also growing as a person so uh i think being honest and, and telling each other who we are and what we're thinking is the key to it like um and also i think uh there's another point uh that i think is is even like it's equally as important um and i think that is not seeing discussions or arguments as one versus one it's like seeing each other as a team that you know if you have some problems which are I've had, for example, with, um, for example, my girlfriend doesn't like me um, doing drugs, for example, which I mm -hmm. did in the UK. Um, but, you know, we talked about it and I realized that I didn't like it either. I'm not a person who likes that. Um, I was just, you know, trying to find an escape. But now that I've been clean, if you want to call it that, because I, I find it quite extreme, but I've never been um very very um addicted to something um like in a very um bad situation because of drugs or anything like that but morally i've been because i didn't feel good um doing that um so you know we were able to work it out and you know at first i i used to say to her like well okay it doesn't affect you like like just um let me be myself let me try things let me you know let me let me let me And, you know, I wasn't listening, really. Um, and I think in a lot of senses, in, in a lot of senses, uh, she was also, um, you know, in that other side of the one versus one um, a lot of the time. So I think we've both learned um, that we need each other. And for it to work, you have to be honest and you have to see um the other person as a part of your team and not as a country mm -hmm. so, well, um, how long have you been together then uh it's been three years in october three uh, years been... so you almost started when you came to the uk it was actually after that but we we used to know each other um but like officially we didn't like start because We were planning to like just um um i met her in high school right so it was just like well we'll be together but i'm gonna leave so it's like we can't be together anymore uh even if we want to so it will probably end so um during the summer we started like seeing each other as friends uh, although it was very hard to do that um and then in october we, we realized we realized that we need each other uh, I don't like the word like to need uh, for a person because I think no one needs anyone really who can just uh, get used to anything. Uh, but I think we realized that we were better off if um, we were 
work together, mm-hmm. um, or if we listen to each other's uh, problems or struggles. 